Well, hello, and um, yeah, this is a little different to what I'm normally used to. I have a body cam on. I've got my Fuji XT100, and I'm going to have a little walk around Carlisle City Centre and the surrounding area. Now, I do apologise if the audio isn't the best one because of the cars and two it is still quite a little bit windy around here up in Cumbria so let's see if this is going to work wish me luck a couple of other things I am shooting in aperture priority and as I mentioned earlier there is a bit of wind and I do not have a wind muffler on this camera so once again apologies if the audio isn't up to the normal standard but we're off to a little start five minutes into the walk uh, the weather is awful it's overcast it's gloomy I was hoping for some sun street photography and sun go hand in hand but Unfortunately, not today. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is Carlisle's infamous Millennium Bridge. I see the theme behind it, actually a bow and arrow, because the castle is just there. So I, I get that aspect of it. I'll try and get this in with no cars. But yeah, that is a great vantage point for light drills. Leave a comment in the section down below if you would like to see that. Would you like to see me go up there on Carlisle's Millennium Bridge and do some light drills? Like I say, leave a comment down below and if it's quite popular, I'll give it a go. Now, if you've seen Thomas Heaton's Cumbrian Way, the walk he'd done from Ulverston to Carlisle, that is actually where he finished. Well, he thought this was the finishing point. There isn't actually a designated finishing point. It's normally the town hall, which is further around, around here. Um, but yeah, that is where he actually made a phone call to the tourist board. Hi, lass. Where you are. I'm all right. I'm off with the camera. Yeah? I'm off out with the camera. To take pictures. See, so just in the town, in the town centre. You what? Hi, camera, pictures. Can take your picture. <laughs> no, no. I'm off to chop today. All right. Chop wangers before goes swollen foot. Right. So, oh, well. so where are you off taking photos? Aye. And then you go for a coffee? Maybe, maybe. Where do you go for your coffee at? Well, there's nowhere open, is there? There's a bus station open at nine o'clock. Right. I can wear the coffee and go no money for the coffee at all. I've got nothing on me, love, either. I'll have to get away. Look after yourself. <laughs> Bye now. That is one of Carlisle's 
well-known people, shall we say. Lovely lass, lovely woman. Kind of struggling here actually. Getting let's try and get that window out of out of the frame. That's better. That's better. That window just it caught my eye um and that wasn't my my focus point so I had to take it out. So I did. I'm not really sure about these these images, but I'm not going to delete them. Um, you never know in process. I might actually surprise myself and take a good picture. Just not of that blackbird. <laughs> yeah, the one that got anyway. Carlisle Cathedral. What a... Should I change from monochrome to Stravia on these filters? Um, yeah, let's go. Let's get some colour in these images. Eh? We can have too much black and white. That's, that's quite a surprise for me. I like monochrome. But I think this one really needs some colour to pop <laughs> but I will be doing black and white as well as colour uh, does that work? Mm, not sure this is my uh, my second attempt, I think, at street photography. So if you've got some tips, guys, in, that will help me out, then please, by all means, leave them in the comments down below. I'm always willing for uh, constructive criticism. Always willing to learn. So yeah, if, you, uh, if you've done a bit of street photography yourself, and you've picked up on some little mistakes even let me know let me know I do like interaction in the comments down below as always but I don't think the wind is as bad as ours I don't think wait there I don't think the wind was as bad as, as, as I was expecting. <sighs> Let's go back to monochrome for the street and keep the colour for the grass. <laughs> That'll do. That will do. Sorry for the uh, Scottish viewers there. My attempt at the Scottish accent. The one thing about street photography I find, well, the one thing I am finding doing this, is I just talk away. <laughs> I just talk away, talk away, talk away. And yeah. Ah, it's fun. I'm enjoying it. I'm back out. And what better place than my home city? Um, yeah, well, there's a seagull up ahead. Can I get this? Let's change it back to colour. Uh, Velvia, was it? Right, 
We're going into stealth mode. Just bear with me. Nope, he's making a run for it. He's making a run for it. <clears throat> Damn you, Seagull. To be honest, I don't even... Nope. I'm not going to get it, guys. He's, uh, he's photo shy. Anyway, this is Carlisle City Centre. Do you know what? I'm not going to give up on this guy. I've only got the 15 to 45 on the Fuji. That's my trouble. I could really do with a bigger zoom lens. I could put I could possibly crop in, but I really don't want to. And he's off. Oh, hang on. Get him in flight. Nope. Seagulls one. Daniel nil. The infamous Carlisle clock tower. Now I know that as you look at this image now, the clock face on the left, there's four sides, the left hand side one isn't there. Um that way actually is Scotland. Um, now rumour has it, again apologies to my Scottish viewers, but rumour has it the reason there is no clock face up there. I don't know if you can, let me just take this, I don't know if you can see that. Up there. There. See how there's no clock face on there? Well, rumour has it that is because back in the day the English would not give the Scots the time of day. So they didn't put a clock face on the clock. Again, apologies to my Scottish viewers. That was not my idea. That was the Romans, I think, or post-Romans, pre-Romans. I don't know. But a little bit of history there for... Carlo. Right. Back to oh actually that is the tourist information centre that Thomas Eaton found asking where the official end to the Cumbrian Way is and a lot of people do actually finish on those steps as it is the uh, the city centre tourist information. So let's get back to it. Some really nice old street lamps here. If I can just frame it right, this might be quite nice. It's framing these ones without getting too many distractions in there. But this wall, you can actually see here, this was the former outer perimeter of Carlisle. That actually joins on to the Carlisle Castle, which is about 300 metres that way, 400 metres that way. Yeah, a few more history facts there from yours truly. Like I know what I'm on about. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. What we got here? Nope. Right, so we're on the last stretch of my... Um, Nope, we're on the last stretch of my loop, if you like. I've done a loop of, of Carlisle City Centre. It's not the biggest of centres. It's maybe only taken me half an hour. But, again, it's been nice to get out. Camera in hand. Now then, this might work. I like how the trees, I don't know if you can see this, the trees there just frame the top left hand side of the image. Eh. We'll see. We will see. This is a shame. This is a shame. 
these are all very very old sandstorm buildings and you have graffiti but I suppose it's the world we live in some people call it art. I mean to an extent some graffiti as such I do find very very amazing it, 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 some of it is art pure and simple that back there no that was just a mess but like I said unfortunately that's the world we live in I'm really really not sure about these images I don't know if I'm just rusty or I'm just not feeling it today but it's all in the process let's have a look at these some lovely old windows old bars Right then guys, as you can see I'm back home now. I did try and do a outro on location, but as I said earlier in the vlog, the wind was just a little bit too much and I didn't have a microphone, so the audio wasn't the best, so hence I decided to do it now. But with that being said, how did you find that? Did you enjoy that kind of that kind of photography, that kind of vlog, a point of view um approach from it? Rather than be on location with tripods and taking my time and setting things up, that was more run and gun. You were there with me, if you like, stood where I was, seeing what I seen. So, let me know if you like that. And if you did, I'd be more than happy to do a lot more of that kind of stuff, because I really, really enjoyed that. But with that said, guys, I'd like to thank you for your time. Thank you ever so much for watching. Don't forget to do the usual, like, share, subscribe. And with that said, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.